Lord, you can see, first of all, it's Tuesday morning. Secondly, yesterday, the only thing I did was take my corporate finance exam. That's the only thing I did yesterday. Not the best. Should have done more, but whatever. Stop. Stop. Um, so today's Tuesday stuff. And the plan today is to do homework until Chris Stewart gets here. And then that's going to be that. And tomorrow, I have my class where we will be doing the review for our final exam. And so, basically, so, and then on Thursday, we will have our part one of our exam, which is in class. In class. Why is it in class? Why can't it just be respondus? I stopped saying that. So, basically, the entire next two days of homework is just studying financial statement analysis. Uh, oh, this class. Oh, man. It's cumulative final. Cumulative final. Uh. So, so I'll take a look at the email again just to see what he said, if I can even determine what the heck that stuff means. <laughs> nope, it's an email, not an announcement. Okay, here is what he said, word for word. Some basic ratios. Oh my god. Fraud case. Okay, at least I know what that is. <sighs> Earnings management. Inventory management. I have no idea what that means. Dude, what does that even mean? Business valuation basic. A few basic questions about the company that you researched on. Oh. There's no point if you're gonna like spend the time to write an email and it only helps like a tiny tiny bit I don't even know if it's even worth the time why would you even write that email that is so ridiculous that is like the worst possible advice you can give us for the test like what the actual heck are you doing I don't know what you mean by most of that stuff some basic ratios really some basic ratios that narrows it down quite a bit Earnings management, what does that even mean? We never have used that word or phrase in this entire semester. Now you're saying earnings management. What does that even mean? 
business valuation. Oh, okay. So the entire freaking PowerPoint that word document that that narrows it down to the entire freaking topic of business valuation. You may as well have not even written that email. It's not. It doesn't help at all. It literally does not help a single bit. And by the way, the, the last exam, the email he wrote compared with the actual test questions had like almost no correlation to each other. Or at least whatever I information I gleaned from that email was not enough to prepare me for that last test. Oh, just study everything. Just study the, everything to make sure you you get a good grade. Just study all the material. Yeah, sure, it's that simple. Just study all of it. I'm not gonna waste my time. Like, I could basically spend four times as amount of, the amount of time on this class just to increase my grade by like 5%. But the cost to benefit is just not even worth it. Like, it takes that much extra work just to get a few extra percentage points it's not worth it i'm not even going to do it so be it if i instead of studying for the test for four hours i could study for the test for 16 hours but if i study for four hours i'll probably get 85 percent and if i study for 16 hours maybe i'll get 95 percent like it's not worth it i don't care i'm just going to study for four hours and, and get 85 percent whatever Can I stop? don't want to study this test. Oh, I'm sick of this stuff. I'm just sick of it. I can't even be fat glad at the fact there's only three days in, left in this whole semester. Okay, four. I can't even be glad about that because I'm because I still have four whole days of stuff to do. Four days of this torture. It's like I'm only going to be happy when this is over, not when there's like three days left. I think I had it particularly bad this semester. Like two like, I didn't have a single good professor this semester. Like, I got really unlucky. That's that's one of the big reasons of the of, of not liking the summer semester at all. Like, I didn't like the other semesters, but at least the teachers were a little bit better. And it was a little bit easier to prepare for stuff. And maybe... Uh, I just overall, in general, liked the professors better. In general demeanor, I guess, I don't know. Like, first of all, we had the human resource professor, who was like my least favorite professor last semester. And then I had, I was basically forced into taking a class with him again this summer semester. And then we have, and then my accounting professor, oh my goodness. So, 
the thing is with him, I don't know, it's just he's not very organized. That's like it's kind of a problem with him. It's like I don't know. But it didn't really affect me that much for the first two semesters I had him as a professor because even though he wasn't all that organized, it wasn't so bad because we actually had like an online curriculum to follow. We had one, we had like online homework assignments and I could use those to study and it was not so bad. But then everything changes when you take away that online curriculum and you just have the professor and the textbook and then whatever the heck else he wants to do. And then everything just completely all over the place. You announce that there's a quiz and then he'll not do the quiz and then he'll randomly put it on canvas on some random day on a weekend when you're not least expecting it and he'll not say when anything's due he'll bear he will give us a test with like 10 billion questions that were not from this thinking textbook it's just a complete nightmare And then my other professor for corporate finance, basically just neutral with him because he, I literally did not talk with him a single time this whole semester. He sent a grand total of two announcements to the class and basically just left it up to us to, to do the whole, the work. Maybe if I, if we had any questions, we could have asked him and he probably would have helped us, but I never, I know they're bothered to ask him questions. Uh, I just did the work and got it done. Got a 92%. Perfectly fine with that. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. Corporate finance, ironically enough, is was the easiest class this semester, and yeah, I literally dropped it last semester. <laughs> so weird. Like, yeah, it was frustrating. I did find it frustrating at times, but it was mostly my own fault for not reading the textbook closely enough. I should have just been reading through the textbook the entire time, not like trying to use the, the, some random curriculum to complete the homework assignments and tests. I don't know, I'd say, uh, so like in terms of the frustrations that I've had, I don't know, this semester might not actually be as bad as last semester because last semester I did drop two classes, whereas this semester I, I did not drop a class. Based on that criteria alone, the last semester was worse in terms of, I don't know. But like these last two semesters have just been really frustrating for me. It was mostly my fault last semester when I dropped two classes. It was mostly my fault. I didn't really, I was not disciplined enough, kept procrastinating, kept skipping assignments. And it caught up to me eventually and I just had to drop two classes. That was terrible. If that hadn't happened, I wouldn't be taking two out of the, the three classes I'm taking this semester. Um, so yeah, I'd say still last semester was worse than this semester, but I'm still pretty bad in terms of, I don't know, I stop. I, why am I terrible at expressing this? Just like the, the experience as a whole of, of taking these classes is, like the overall feeling I have is, man, this sucks, I hate this, it's not fun. I don't care, like, I know it's supposed to be hard work to get a degree, but does it really, do I really have to do this? Like, I know there is an alternative, I know there is an alternative to this, 
I'm going to try to see if that's an uh, that is a uh, it's something I can do. I know there's an alternative to this that's much better. And even if I wanted to somehow still become an accountant, I wish there was something better than this. But I don't know if there is. Maybe there's some random online like course or whatever. But who knows? I don't even want to do this. Even if that existed, I'd still not be that enthusiastic. Can I stop? Can I just stop? Like, there's this whole thing I've been thinking about, like, the entire concept of taking classes, reading a textbook, trying to learn information from the textbook, all that stuff, all for the sake of learning a particular field of study. Is this the best way to do it? Because on the one hand, yes, you're strengthening your, maybe it helps to, to, for it to be difficult. Like, the harder it is, the more you exercise your, you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like if it's, um, the only way to the only way to like get ripped is if you go through very, very hard things. You have to go through very rigorous, difficult um, training in order for you to get ripped. Um, is, that, is, this, is that the same for, for like learning in college? Like it has to be difficult that's the only way for you to actually look. That's where you actually to grow. I don't know. Can I stop? Can I stop being so terrible at explaining stuff? Ah. Or is there a better way that's easier? It's more, you learn things more quickly because it's a much easier process. Like if you just handed everything, maybe you shouldn't be just handed everything. Like handed all the information you need. Instead of having to like search for it frantically through a textbook to search for information, why if you just give the information you need rather than having to search for it or do work to find it. Like if you're learning how to do the job of an account, are you, what's the best way to do that? Is the best way to do that to is to, to scrounge it through a textbook looking for stuff? Or is it just somebody telling you what to do, how to do it, demonstrating it to you, then then you try to do it yourself, then it give, they let you know if you're doing it wrong, blah, blah, blah. But what I'm doing for my entire college career is just is looking through textbooks, basically. That's the entire thing. Looking through textbooks, trying to find relevant information. Is that really the most efficient way to learn that? And I know that I'm, I think I'm going to talk about like what my plans are after this semester. I've kind of already mentioned it a million times. I think I'm going to do it. 
Well, we'll see what my dad says, but I'm hoping I can basically become a full-time YouTuber. <laughs> it sounds so weird. Like, yep, I'm just gonna become a YouTuber full-time. I'm just going to uh, make videos on YouTube and just hope that I make money from it. It's, I don't know if that's like the right approach because a lot of people say that you're, you shouldn't do YouTube because you want to make money. You should do it because you love doing it. But that's the entire reason I'm choosing to do this. It's because I can incorporate the things that I love doing into it. Because I love doing, I love cubing, I love speedrunning, I love, you know, there's a variety of different things. And if I, the only way to do those things for a living is to incorporate that into a YouTube channel, as far as I can tell. I'd have to, I have to do something extra besides just doing those things. I have to do, I have to entertain people, I guess, is the added, the added requirement. Like, if you want to do those things for a living, fine, but you have to be a benefit to society somehow. And that benefit is to entertain people by making YouTube videos. That is one way. And I'm not sure if I would love the process of making YouTube videos. But I do know I would love the things that I, the subjects of those YouTube videos. That is for sure. What was I going to say originally? I kind of went off on a tangent. But like, my plan was to do that and hope that that works out. Like, basically try that for a year. If my parents allow for it, I would try doing that for a year full time and see what happens. And if it completely flops, I'm perfectly fine with that. I mean, I'm not fine with it, but I'll be very sad and depressed. <laughs> but I will accept it if it doesn't work. I will accept it. I will go back, finish my accounting degree. But there's nothing wrong with at least trying. Yeah, I was going to say something. So there's also another path I could take where, yes, I become a YouTuber, but I get a degree at the same time. Like I get a like video production degree or something or a video editing degree because that is that te te technically the requirements. Like a lot of the requirements you need for that for becoming a successful YouTuber is, you know, you need video productions. You need to be able to make high quality videos using editing and uh, camera equipment and all that crap and video production. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Where you like videography. That's like the entire thing that I'm going into is videography, but I'm not going to go, I'm not going to do it through a college degree because I don't like college. <laughs> I've just definitely determined that I don't want to do, I don't want to take classes and about making videos. I want to just do it myself. I might still end up doing some kind of random online course or whatever, but not pro not through a college because I really do not like that system. I do not like going to classes, listening to lectures, doing homework assignments. Nope, I don't want to do any of that anymore. I hate that. I just want to do my own thing. I'll learn the same exact material just on my own. So I'm gonna have to figure out something because I can't just teach myself. I can't just figure it out by myself. Like I could technically, like, you know, I could just through trial and error learn how to use a video editing software. Through trial and error, just learn all this stuff. Like buy, like do my own research, figure out what's the best camera equipment and all that. But honestly, the best 
idea would probably be to not do that, but rather learn from someone else or something else, like some kind of online course or something. But um, or even a college, like taking classes. But I that's. <sighs> Anyways, that is my thought process. Why do you want to go play how many minutes is it? Twenty-five. Wonderful rest. <laughs> As you can tell, I still haven't changed my music. My God, I still haven't <laughs> found more music to listen to. I was gonna do that like a week ago and I didn't. Well, I'll do it probably after the semester's over. Which is only a few weeks, so it's fine. I can listen to this a little bit longer. It's not like I'm getting sick of it. I mean, I, I haven't, it's, it hasn't gotten to the point where I'm like completely hate listening to this music. Why have I even talked to you? <laughs> yeah, my plan for what I'm going to do probably sounds really stupid. And like, I have no freaking clue what I'm doing. <laughs> And I don't know what the challenges are. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I don't know how viable this is. Maybe I just sound crazy. Like this, you can't do that. That's not gonna work. You can't just say you're going to make it on YouTube and then make it on YouTube. That's not how it works. But I think I think you can. I think you can, in fact, do it. You just need to know. It's not like it's just completely random who, who's successful and who's not successful. There's a reason people are successful. The reason is because people enjoy watching their videos. A large number of people enjoy watching their videos. And there's a reason that they enjoy watching their, their videos. Maybe they're, they're very high quality videos they're very entertaining and there's reasons for that for the, for those things there's a reason that the video is entertaining and if I can pinpoint those reasons I can pinpoint the crucial factors that it takes to create entertaining content then I can succeed I don't know how much of a meritocracy it is on YouTube, but it's definitely achievable. It's an achievable thing to, if you put the work in, you can do it. Can I stop? My God. Can I stop? Gosh. Why? Okay, I'm done. What's the last thing I'll say? I will get back to you. I don't know if I, like if I'm. I might continue to make vlogs actually uh, when I start doing that stuff. If I start doing that stuff, I really hope I can. Oh, man, I really hope I can. But yeah, I might continue to make these vlogs. I might change the name of the channel to like something else besides homework. Uh, or maybe I'll just leave this as a separate channel and make a different channel. Who knows? Maybe a first channel and a second channel is all I really need. Like I don't, I don't really like the idea of like making multiple channels. I feel like I'd spread, I'd spread myself too thin if I made multiple channels. Like I feel like I should just keep it all on one channel. Maybe the second channel will be just for like terrible, bad quality content or whatever. Like I don't care about. Yeah, I'll probably end up, I don't I probably shouldn't waste any more time talking about that. For the rest of this week, for the rest of this week, I just need to finish this. 
Look at freaking classes. It's so funny. Like, for my physics class that I took like two years ago, I, I got a 50% on the final exam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> my God. Like, I was just thinking, like, man, how bad do I have to screw up to, like, not pass these classes? Well, I screwed up massively in my physics class, and I still ended up with a B. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Like, if I ended up with, like, man, actually, I don't think I have that leniency in, in my financial statement class. I cannot screw up that. Like, I, it actually is. There is quite a bit of pressure on me to you know, perform the, for the final exam because my current grade is 87%, not 97%. So, if I get like a 50%, oh man, I might be screwed. I don't know. I'm not gonna get 50%. Like, even if I took it right now, it probably wouldn't do that badly because I've already studied all the material at least once. Like, basically all the material we need to know for the test except for, like, the business valuation and fraud thing. Like, all the other material, I've, I've studied it at least once. I think I could pull off, like, a decent grade if I took it right now, but obviously all the studying that I do today, tomorrow will and Thursday and Friday like, the entire next four days is going to be spent studying for that exam that's how much I, I need to study for that what how many minutes 32 minutes I'm on a thing here I just want to get here sooner so I can stop doing this soon. <laughs> he said midday. I don't even know what midday means. Is it like noon? Or is it like mid-afternoon? Because technically the middle of the day is like noon. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe not. Because most people get up at around you know, 6. So 6 hours plus 6 hours is 6. And most people stay up till like 10 or 11. So... Um, midday is more like two or three for most people. I don't really get up too much. The last time I drove somewhere was last Thursday when I went to Dubuque to drop off my tuxedo and then I went to AW and spent $14 on food because I love spending all of my money. Also, I didn't. Wait, why am I yours? <laughs> and that's why my van is parked there where it's not usually parked because there was the construction going on right in the exact spot where I usually park my van. So they parked it right there. Anyway. Oh. <sighs> Yeah, basically, we're almost going to be starting. That's two and a half hours later. It's going to be like 10, 15. It's going to be like 10, 15, 10, 20. That's a basically when I will have two hours and 30 minutes on OBS and then take maybe a short break. Probably not going to be that much. Just take a short break and do a vlog and then continue and then play. So I'm going to going to read the PowerPoints and whatever other announcements there are in a relation to business valuation and fraud. So that's what I'm gonna do. So when I get back, you'll have 
learned a lot of information about business. Valuation. My goodness gracious. There's he better at posting a PowerPoint. He better at posting it. Thank God, please. Please tell me he posted it. I don't know if he did. Wait, I'm just now realizing he may not have posted that PowerPoint. Oh, that's great. That's so great. That's wonderful. If he didn't post it, then I'll have to change my plans. Great. I'm not ending the vlog with that sound. What will the end of this vlog be? Getting in sixty or six months. I'm not ending it with Sniff, baby. So what is going to be the end of this vlog? 